So David, you've done such a phenomenal job uh, teaching mindfulness to the preschoolers, three, four, five-year-olds, and a lot of people would think you can't teach mindfulness to young kids. So uh, can you share a little bit about um, what you've done and what's worked for you? Sure, absolutely. Um, so there's a few things you can do that um, can be helpful uh, when practicing mindfulness with kids. Um, I'd say the first would be uh, to practice the mindfulness yourself, uh, because if you can practice being a non-judgmental presence when you're around these kids and really there with them without even using a word about mindfulness or explaining it to them, to just be mindful with them, uh, they're very sensitive to that mm -hmm. and um, they can learn through that modeling. Second tip, uh, I think that it's very helpful to um, give the children the language to kind of prompt them to examine their own internal processes. For example, if a young child throws something across the room, instead of labeling the behavior, that was bad, mm -hmm. or even worse, you're bad, you might prompt them uh, to examine their own internal experience uh, by saying something like, huh, you, you must have a lot of energy right now. Uh, it's not okay to throw that, but um, let's do something, let's get that energy out in another way. And just by using that kind of language, it directs, it directs the kids to kind of consider what's going on inside them mm -hmm. and bring mindful awareness to that. Third tip would be uh, when you're doing some of these mindfulness exercises with the kids, it's okay to stick with just the experiential part, um, especially if they're younger, you know, two, three, four, and five. I mean, you can certainly touch on some of the instructional things and you know talk about the brain and you'd be surprised kids can pick that up pretty quickly um, but it's also okay to just stick with the experiences of it um, there's a lot of mindful activities that focus on really experiencing the senses and this is great with young kids even mm -hmm. as young as two they like to get their hands in there they learn through doing and so it's okay to drop the the instructional part and just get in there with the activities with them. Great. And um, a last uh, tip that I think could be really helpful in working with young kids um, and maybe the most important is to just have fun with them. <laughs> and um, it sounds kind of cheesy, but really, you know, as teachers, caregivers, parents, uh, it's easy to get caught up in our roles. Certainly we have a lot of really important responsibilities when we're teaching and taking care of children. But sometimes getting too invested in those can, can block real connection with these kids. Mm -hmm. It's okay every once in a while to put down your teacher hat or your parent hat and just get in there with the kids and have fun. Mm -hmm. Because children are, are naturally, they're already mindful in a lot of ways. Yeah. They, um, you know, they have such incredible curiosity for the world and they are non-judgmental and mm -hmm. they're in the present moment to be able to kind of not try to shape them or teach them and just be with them and enjoy that moment with them can go a long ways. Mm -hmm. Well, the other thing I think you do real well, which you didn't mention, um, is that you are very expressive and dynamic mm -hmm. and you use your voice a lot and you use your body language when you talk to the kids. Mm -hmm. And I think that that makes a huge difference. And I will be honest because when you know, you're pretty calm, quiet, reserved person. And then when you were in front of the kids, you were like dynamic. You were like, it was very impressive. Uh, but you have a way of speaking. It's almost like you know how to speak. You know, it's like the preschool whisperer. <laughs> so yeah, you have a really nice way with them. Thanks.